Hello students, this is the continuation of first lesson that is rational and irrational numbers. In the previous class, we have studied about how to convert a root 2 into rational by division method and the alternative method that is uh, contradiction method. Uh, here, uh, we know that as per definition of rational number, what is the definition of rational number? That is in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0. This is the definition for a rational, rational number. That is P by in the form of P by a number in the form of P by Q and P, P and Q are integers. Q not equal to 0. That is for root 3 and we know that in the previous class we had seen that that is root 3 and uh, root 2 and root 3 are such a representation is not possible. That is root 3 and uh, root 2, root 3, root 5, root 7 etc. cannot be represented in the form of P by Q. These are the, so that these numbers are irrational numbers. So that these are, we, can, we cannot represent root 2 and root 3 in the form of P by Q. So that these are root 3, root 2, root 3, root 5, root 7 etc. are irrational numbers. Okay, we, we had seen that uh, root 2 is rational root and root 3 is also rational. Here is a number that is the a question is identify the following numbers are rational or rational number. Here there are two numbers. First is root 12. How can we identify this root 12 is irrational or rational number that is equal to root 12 is equal to uh, that is by using division method that is 12, 2, 6, 2, 3. That is equal to uh, 2 into 2 into 3. 2 into 2 into 3. That is we can write it in the form of 2 into 2 into 3. And here this is the square root of this 12. That is we can taking outside this 2. 2 root 3. 2 root 3. That is this is the combination. This is the product of product of 2 and root 3. That is, sorry, root 3. That is, root 3 is irrational. Thus, this is a root 12. That is, root 12 is an irrational number. Irrational number. That checks this number. That is, 3 root 2. Though, so, uh, no further division here. And root 8 is equal to, by division method, that is, 2, 4, 2, 2. That is equal to 3 root 2 into root of 2 into 2 into 2 that is equal to 3 root 2 into taking this 2 outside that is root 2 into 2 multiplying with this that is 3 into 2 into that is this 2 in this root 2 into root 2 is equal to 2 we get 3 into 2 6 6 into 2 12 this is a whole number so that we can say that this is a rational number that is this is a whole number so that this is a this is a rational number. Is it clear? That is, this is how we can check a number in, is an irrational or an irrational number. Okay, next, insert a rational number and an irrational number between 3 and 4. I repeat the question once again. Insert a rational number and an irrational number between 3 and 4. That first, let's check that the product of 3 and 4 is a perfect square. If it is not a perfect square, that we can find the rational and irrational number between 3 and 4. That first, we can check that is 3 and 4 are two positive numbers. Positive numbers. The product of, that is, here it is, A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 4. That AB is equal to, that is, 3 into 4 is equal to 12. That this is not a perfect square. Not a perfect square. That is, 12 is not a perfect, perfect square. That is, uh, after that we can... Uh, find a rational number and a rational number between 3 and 4. That is, a rational number is equal to, a rash, first one, a rational number. A rational number 
is equal to, you know the formula, what is the formula that for finding a rational number in between two, two rational numbers, it is a plus b by 2, a plus b by 2 is equal to, a plus b by 2 is equal to 3 plus 4 by 2 is equal to 7 by 2 or 3 and 1 by 2, 3 and 1 by 2, in except fraction it is 3 and 1 by 2 and second one, a, an irrational number, second one, an irrational number. That is what is the formula for finding rational number that is equal to root of AB. That is equal to, that is root of 3 into 4 that is equal to root 12 is an rational number. Okay, this is the way to find a rational number and rational number between these two whole numbers 3 and 4. That is for finding rational number the formula is A plus B by 2 that is we have already studied in the first part of this lesson and that is 3 plus 4 by 2. And it is 7 plus 2, that is a mixed fraction is 3 and 1 by 2. And for an irrational number, the formula is root of AB, that is 3 into 4. Root of 3 into 4 is equal to root 2. Next subtopic is certs or radicals. That is, this is certs, S U R D S, certs or uh, radicals. Otherwise, it is known as radicals. And what is a cert? And if, if x is a positive rational number, and n is a positive integer such that 1 by x raised to n or that is n the root of x is irrational. The next raised to 1 by n is called a third or radical. That is n the root of x. That is x is a, x is a rational number. Root x is a rational number. n is a positive integer. We can say that if it is an irrational number, n the root of x is irrational, then we can say that x raised to 1 by n is a third or a radical. Here this, there is an example. Uh, that is cube root of 6. That is cube root of 6. This is, this 3 is and this is, this is a. a is a, sorry, uh, yes, n is a, this is n, a root n is equal to 3 and n is a positive integer and root 6 is a, 6 is a rational number, 6 is a rational number and in the end the root of x that is cube root of 6 is irrational. That is we know that root 6 have no perfect square that is so that that is cube root of 6 is irrational that is cube root of 6 is a set. And then root 4, root 4 is equal to 2. We know that root 4 is equal to 2. That is this is not irrational so that it is not a not a set. That is root 2 is not irrational. Not irrational. So this is not a set. These are called a set. That is what is a set? If x is a positive rational number x is a positive rational number, n is an integer, so a positive integer and 1 by x raised to n, that is n the root of x is a rational, the next raised to 1 by n is called a third or radical and the next is the order of third. From the previous statements, we know that every third is an irrational number but every rational number is not a third, that is once that is once again it is every third is an irrational number but every rational number is a is not a third. That is pi is an irrational number. What is the value of pi? Pi is equal to 3.1415 etc. Uh, but pi is an irrational number but not a third. See here uh, next is the order of a third. Order of what is the order of a third? This is phi root phi that is what is it? Square root of phi. That is this is square root of phi and the order of this is equal to order of phi is order of phi is 2. And for that, this is, or that is the cube root of 10. Cube root of 10, that is here, the order is, order is equal to, order is 3. And then, fifth root of 100, sorry, 101, that is equal to, the order is equal to, order of 101 is equal to 5. This is the order of third. That is, this is about third. In the next class, uh, we will teach about the rationalizing of search and uh, I hope you understood the class. See you in the next class. Thank you.